Okay, Jesse Jackson Jr., Jesse Jackson Sr., Al Sharpton, all of you that are civil rights activists, Sheila Jackson Lee, Maxine Waters, it's our time. Hey, let me tell you what time it is. It's time for that little puppet, okay? He's not out of slavery. He's, he's been worse slavery than he had been if he'd have left Harvard and got him a friggin' job digging ditches. He'd have been freer then, making six dollars an hour digging ditches, than he is now trying to be something called a puppet president. Because he's still a slave. He's gonna do and say what everybody tells him to do. Well, end time, you're off your rocker. You're out of your mind. You must be drunk or high on cocaine. You probably a crack at it. No, I'm sober as a flipping judge, buddy. A judge that believes in the Constitution. Because I come by to tell you something. Have you ever looked at them politicians? Have you ever, look, ever looked at Obama? Why on earth does he always put his head down and put it on that little pedestal because he has to read what somebody else told him to say? He can't look up and look at American people. He can't, he's can't. he got to have a teleprompter, glory to God. He's got to have something that somebody else wrote that has some sense because he's a stupid puppet that don't have any sense, just like Bush was, glory to God. Just like Clinton was, glory to God. I pulled the gloves off tonight, and I've come out here to tell you that he can't speak for himself because he's got a piece of paper that he speaks from. He's nothing. He's a piece of garbage, just like every one of them that belong to the New World Order. And when they threw in him, they'll throw him out to the pasture. Woo! Glory to the living God. Let's let it go tonight. I'm ready. Yes! He can't speak for himself, you stupid liberal that voted for him. He reads from a piece of paper. He does not say what's in his heart because he don't have a heart. His heart is turned to stone. He's callous and he's ignorant to what's going on, even in his life. Woo! I feel good now. Now let's talk about the rest of what James Trafagant said. I don't want the horse to get dry. Look, that's water, H2O, coming out of a deep well in a cold place. I'm not drinking fluoride like you do. I still got a flipping brain. Let's move on. Woo! Glory to God. Hallelujah. I felt the Holy Ghost run by then. Woo! Glory to God. Feels good to get it off. Feels good to tell the truth. Because the Bible says, glory to God, you'll know the truth and the truth will make you free. Free from what? Free from the bondage of the Federal Reserve New World Order System. Free from the bondage of the federal government. Free from the bondage of the senator and the congressman, even down to the mayor. Free from the bondage of a neighbor that says, you're crazy for wanting to buck against this. It makes you free because my God who the sun sets free. Glory to the living God. is free indeed. Woo! Hallelujah. Let's move on. Some of you done left me. Hey, I see you. I see you walking out. I saw you click that mouth. Bye. Bye. You can't take the heat get out of the kitchen. Now, let's move on. In return, the Federal Reserve System agreed to extend the Federal United States Corporation all of the credit or money substitute it needed. Like any other debtor, the Federal United States government had to assign collateral and security to their creditors as a condition of the loan. By the way, let me just stop there. See, I could go all night. I Man, I got so much research and all built in me, it ain't even funny. Remember the Wilderness Lands Act just got passed? Do you know why they expanded it? Because by gosh, they had to have collateral for the Chinese and the Saudis to buy up more of this worthless garbage of a debt when we're doing these trillion, the stimulus package. Somebody's got to collateralize it. That's why they expanded the wilderness so the Saudis could have more of our wilderness land so the Chinese could have it. They wouldn't do it without it. Mercy have mercy. United States didn't have any assets, so they assigned private property of their economic slaves, U.S. citizens, and land as collateral against the unpayable debt that the federal government has accumulated. This was in 93. Listen. They also, watch, pledged the unincorporated federal territories, national parks, forests, birth certificates, Nonprofit organizations as collateral against the federal debt. All has already been transferred as payment to the international bankers, the foreign entities, the sovereign wealth funds. We're in 2009. Wake up. Listen to listen to End Time Watchman a minute. Listen to me for a minute. 1993, they were already doing it. What do you think? I mean, literally. 
What do you think you actually own? You don't actually own nothing anymore. It's already been collateralized and put out as, as a collateral for a debt that them stinking congressmen, senators, all them corrupt devils have... It's over, y'all. It's done. It's too late. Unless there is a revolution in America now, it's too late. 1993, Mr. James Traffigant Jr. knew it and saw it, and he went to jail because he knew it. They trumped charges up on him, and I've come by to tell you something tonight. If you don't wake up now, it's over with. It's done. It's over with. But we sit here at our dinner tables, we sit there in front of our big TVs, we sit here and do this, and we take a friggin' check to the bank, we deposit it in the bank thinking that we're something, when all you have is a worthless piece of paper that went in a worthless bank because they're insolvent. See? God knows, help me. My nose is getting stopped up, my sinus and everything, but that's all right. By the way, they sprayed us down today. We had bright sunshine, and I watched the planes come over. I'm not an idiot. They were spraying so hard today, it wasn't even funny. That's why my sinuses are like they are, my throat is. Let's move on. Unwittingly, America has returned to its pre-American revolution. Roots by where all land is held by sovereign, common people. But now we have no rights to hold a title to no property. And you don't. Once again, we the people are the tenants, the sharecroppers, renting property from a sovereign guise of the Federal Reserve Bank and foreign entities like Saudi Arabia and China. We the people have exchanged one master for another. I'm going to finish it up. I may have to do one more. I'll be back in a minute. 